so many things are going on right now, but I, I hope that you will tune in to the January 6th committee. I think they're doing an extraordinary job. Um, I'm so proud of all of my colleagues. Liz Cheney has just been extraordinary, um, you know, so courageous. She was that night. She helped to save the democracy that night and make the decision to go back to the Capitol. We went back at um, 8 and stayed till 3.30 in the morning and took the vote so that you all could wake up in the morning to a stable democracy and the election of the President of the United States. When I am out and about talking to Granite Staters, uh, they are concerned about a lot of different things, um, but obviously inflation is top of mind to folks, the price at the pump, um, and um, other costs that feel like they, they keep going up and up and up. So um, what we still are focused on in this uh, reconciliation process, which is just Senate speak for um, getting budget adjustments through, um, um, is how we lower the cost of prescription drugs. The fact that rather than getting infrastructure through and then spending the fall of 21 taking a big victory lap on infrastructure, they created this tortured linkage with Build Back Better, spent months with Democrats arguing with each other about uh, who in the Democratic Party is to blame for screwing yeah. everything up, then ultimately pass it only because uh, they got whooped in Virginia, and then, you know, by then inflation is the main thing on every voter's mind. I was deeply troubled to learn that a search warrant had been executed at the personal residence of a former president of the United States. I was overseas at the time, traveling with my wife on vacation, but I still felt it was important to weigh in. And I, I called on Attorney General Garland to give the American people a full accounting of the reasons why this action was necessary.